just here watching some movies. doing today so today is May the 10th we are currently 17 days out as you guys can see here um, we're gonna be going to do some cardio now we're gonna be making breakfast after so it's gonna be 15 minutes of fasted cardio um, and then we're gonna be making four eggs put some salt in it and I'll explain the reason why I do not put um, any more cinnamon uh, found out pretty much that it has calories um, all the labels, now all the labels I've looked at for all like, like when you go to stores and whatnot, said zero calories per however many tablespoons whatnot, zero calories. And what I was doing some research on is some companies don't even actually have to put that they have calories in the product if it's a really small amount. Um, if it's more than that, then it would actually add up and be calories, like it would actually be calories. And apparently, if it's really, really small, you don't even have to add calories. So that's something new to me. I'm learning every day. Anyways, let's go do cardio. Then we're going to go make some breakfast. Can you go outside? I'm guessing you want to go outside just a second. Let me put these dishes up. Okay. Where do you want to go? Hmm? Why are you looking at me like that? Wait, why are you going up here? Oh, you need to start. You get that, don't you? You wanna go outside? Go. There you go. Okay, so now that we are downstairs, I got my headphones ready to go here. I got my water bottle. We're gonna put in some BCAs in this water we're gonna be using here. Let me show you what I'm using right now. I'm just using this because I wanted a contest a little bit easier for me to use, and it's not too bad tasting. So, anyways, using here, um, I think it's Opus. I don't even know if I'm pretty sure it's I'm saying it wrong, but it is a BCA intro workout um, it is blue yasberry um, Pretty much just has lots of vitamins when I tend to take BCA's it tends to work with like cardio So for instance a paced high intensity workout then BCA's definitely come to effect now if I'm bulking up and stuff like that I don't need BCA's I don't even like require them at all because I mean, you're already eating enough food. So, I'm gonna go put those BCAs, then we're gonna go start some cardio. So, I fill up about the water till about there. I still have to put the water in. I put, there's still some water from last night, so I'm just gonna leave that. I'm gonna add on to it, and I drink it throughout the cardio, and I drink it after. Of course, I'm not gonna drink the whole thing during cardio. I mean, you kind of focus on cardio and you drink it too much, it's kind of like defocusing you or making you feel slightly uncomfortable, at least for me. So, I'm gonna add some more water then. Get to the You might be wondering why am I wearing a sweater now so since I just do 15 minutes um, it's gonna make it a lot harder because before I would be doing 20 minutes but I'd be taking off my shirt be taking off my sweater whatever else I'm wearing uh, and I'm taking off my pants and stuff but <laughs> I'm taking off my shirt and that would make it easier right so I'm adding on the sweater making me sweat more doing 15 minutes then I do abs as you guys just saw I do as many as I can for the upper abs and as many as I can for lower abs kind of with a little twist to get that V taper, get the side obliques that a lot of people are looking for and <clears throat> those are the ones that stand out, especially men's physique, the side oblique, well just obliques, it's not really side obliques but it's on the side of your body, you guys get what I'm saying, obliques are here, serratus is up here, so get the difference, um, and upper abs, lower abs, so you guys will get the gist of it, anyways, so I'm going to go make breakfast right now, I just want to explain why I'm wearing a sweater, why I'm doing abs, when I do abs, um, I don't go crazy. I just do one set, as many as I could do. Now, this is going to allow me to work abs later on, um, and as well not 
completely destroy them where it's going to be sore tomorrow. When I do abs like this or at the gym, they're really light, high reps, so I could work them every single day. And they're not being fully, how do I explain, fully breaking down so that it will be sore the next day. And I have to repair them and whatnot. Like with my shoulder, my left shoulder, feeling slightly sore today. Um, I feel that I went a little too heavy at the gym and a little too high <laughs> intensity because there's a time where I could barely do any reps and I decided to do lateral raises with 32s and I only was able to do six, which is kind of what you're supposed to be doing when you're trying to put on some mass, not when you're trying to cut down. So I got to give this guy a little rest. I'm still going to go to the gym today, but I just got to be careful if it's being activated. I don't want to tear more. Um, not if when I say tear as well, it doesn't mean actually tear the muscle. It means like break it down so it's gonna be more sore the next day. Um, I'm pretty much just gotta wait this one out, but I'm still gonna be working chest and triceps today. So once again, I'm gonna go make some breakfast. Breakfast for today is gonna be four eggs and a cup. Well, that's definitely more than a cup of black coffee so four eggs we're going to put some pink salt in there which i already did and a coffee now i'm going to be having this breakfast really for the next 17 days almost uh so i probably won't even be recording my breakfast and all that all the time to kind of give you guys something fresh and new every single day um and i'll explain a little bit more towards that later in the video anyways i'm going to eat this breakfast now Okay, now Mihal, I have a quick question for you. How do you stay motivated? I mean, you've been doing this for so long, five years, and now you have another prep. This is your fifth competition. How do you actually stay motivated? I mean, it's so tough for me. Now, I'm going to explain to you guys how I stay motivated. This is just one factor. I have a lot of factors that keep me motivated and a lot of things that get me going. Now, one big thing that I believe a lot of you guys, a lot of my age audience, 19, maybe slightly older, even the Olympia, um, people watch this as well and you know younger ages too I mean it's okay I'm gonna show you guys here so it's Naruto you know any type of like anime or for instance Dragon Ball Super is on right now it's pretty popular a lot of athletes are actually watching Dragon Ball Super if you go on Instagram Phil Heath actually made a post I'm not sure if I'm gonna post, push it push it push. I'm gonna <laughs> if I'm gonna show it um, on this video anyways Phil Heath made a post pretty much stating that, you know, he loves this show and it's, you know, it's part of his regimen and stuff like that. So, I don't know, anime has always been a big thing for many athletes out there. Um, a lot of clothing now, like um, Just Saiyan or there's a couple more clothing companies that are starting to go in the anime route. So, it, it's very popular now. And it's always been popular, but it's kind of uh, been up and down. Right now, it's pretty high and a lot of people are watching Dragon Ball Super. Uh, and many more other animes out there, but that is just one thing that really does motivate me I mean, I know it's something so small and I know it's just like a cartoon It's like for kids and whatnot, but it actually does motivate me and I know it motivates a lot of you young uh, Teenagers out there young athletes. So I mean if you want to be like Goku whatever it may be You know, it, it, it's it's that motivation You need that type of mentality of wanting to become better and better and better. That's pretty much for instance Let's talk about Dragon Ball Super. Goku is always trying to get in a higher power level and stuff like that so you know it's the same thing with physique you're always trying to get better anyways that's just a little bit of motivation for you guys that I do that I do motivation to myself to get me to lift and do more things every single day there's more and more and more that we'll be talking about later on anyways that's just a little bit that I'm gonna be talking about a little bit that I'm gonna be talking about I'm so off right now guys you get the gist of it oh okay guys I'm looking, I don't know, I'm looking pretty lean, but I'm feeling really small. Like, not small, but like, how do I explain? Really, like, soft, roundish, smooth. And the reason being is I am having high in sodium, but the thing is, when I went to the gym today, it was so hard to maintain a pump. Like, I'd be lifting weight and I'd lose the pump during the set. Now, I have two reasons why that happened today. Firstly, well, actually, maybe three. The third one, you could say it is kind of one. Uh, firstly... I did not have enough sleep. I only slept for a good six hours and 30 minutes. Woke up, did fasted cardio right away. Um, sleep deprived is gonna affect you in the gym no matter what it may be, no matter how short it is, it has to, you have to sleep at least eight hours, eight to 10 hours, depending on your age, right? It differs for different ages. But eight hours is ideal to for anyone, really. Um, obviously, I did not have enough sleep, so I could see that affected my workout. Secondly, 
Um, since I'm high in sodium, wait, no, that was not, what was the second one? Oh, secondly, I had a protein shake just before the workout. Now that protein shake consisted of um, protein and almond milk. And when I have a protein shake, I tend to feel tired, sleepy, almost like, you know, you, I, I don't feel like moving after because my I, I like when I take protein shakes, it's usually after workout when I'm fully deplenished. So that was mistake number two. And mistake number three is I'm carb depleted, so I don't have any carbs in me. It's only uh, fiber for carbs, you know, those digestive carbs from vegetables. Um, but really, I don't have carbs at all in me, and I can see where my energy is lacking. But those three points, you know, lack of sleep, yeah, drinking a protein shake just before, and deplenished carbs with high sodium. Sodium isn't actually that bad. It helps you with the pump, kind of, because it holds onto water, which could hold onto water in your muscles, and that's why I look bigger. Um, but that's kind of how I felt in today's workout. You know, I wasn't getting the biggest pump, but I did look good. I did look good on uh, when I was checking some of my posing and stuff. So that's a good one. Anyways, that's pretty much going to be the video for today. Um, if I did show you guys my progress beforehand, I did. If I didn't, I'm sorry. It'll be in the next video or another or the video after that. I'm trying to upload every single day here, so give me a little break, guys. I'm studying. I'm doing lots right now, so I'm trying to put as many videos as I can for you guys to enjoy because I'm not just going to put some crappy video on just because I said every single day. I actually want to put a video on that you guys would, you know, enjoy and, and, it's, and it's informative and it gives you guys a good update as to how I'm doing at 17 days out. Tomorrow I'm going to be 16 days. It's going to go on and on and on from there. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Please, if you enjoyed it, leave a like below. That helps me get out to different audiences out there. Uh, leaving a like puts it in the suggested box. So please do that, guys. It really does help. Just leave a like below. It's all if, if you enjoyed it, obviously. I'm not going to force you guys. If you guys enjoyed it, please leave a like below. Now, if you want to ask me any questions, leave it in the comments. I'll be sure to answer them. Um, I answer almost every single comment. Pretty much, I honestly answer every single comment. So um, feel free to leave comments below. As well, ask questions. Anything you guys want to ask, feel free. I might even be doing a Q&A sometime soon, so I could be using those questions for other people that may have a similar question um, later down the road. Uh, once again, please leave a like below, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Alright? Get Aesthetic Rock!